Hi, beautiful ladies. Oh my God, I'm so overexcited to talk to you about from going from human design to divine design. My name is Patricia Benda. Um, I'm a coach here in Switzerland and I mostly teach in German. That's why I'm also a little bit <laughs> nervous about bringing my message in English. Um, all right, let's go. Yeah, human design is very popular right now for a while because everybody wants to know about themselves. Everybody wants to know, basically the main question is, why am I the way I am? Is it good? What's the good parts about me? Where do I fail? What is no, not so good about me? Um, where can I, do I need to improve? And this is a total human mindset because we think we are human. But the truth is we are divine and we all have known this forever. <laughs> the Bible talks about it. And um, I'm a huge fan of Neville Goddard. He interprets the Bible in such a clear way that everybody can understand that we are metaphysical beings, that we are energetical beings, and that our energy is created with our thoughts, with our imagination. Our energy is created by what we believe, what we are, what we assume, law of assumption. And this creates the energy, this creates our reality. So all the assumptions and all our, everything what we heard about who we are, how we grew up, about our ancestors, about, it's just a way of thinking. It's just a belief system. It's just a mindset. And the line, mindset we are taught is limited. But in reality, the truth about us as divine beings, as gods, as goddesses, is we live in an infinite universe. We are infinite. We are infinity. And for me to understand this, that we are divine, we have to go out of our human mindset about all the things we believe and this is possible when, and I have to do this and I can do this here and I'm really strong in this. Just delete everything. And here, Dr. Joe Dispenza, whom I also very, very love, but he never talks about the divine in that way it needs to be talked about. Because we have all these God pictures from religion, from church. And I totally understand he doesn't want to bring all these mindsets of God into his teaching. But for me, it was very important to clear my God picture and understand that the di divine idea, there's a divine idea about me, also in the bible we are created in the likeness of god and the di divine design for us is that the human side the ego side is something we can acknowledge but it's not who we really are therefore we can create ourselves in a new way, in a new version, every moment, every moment. And the divine design lives inside us, of us. And it's our task to stop identifying with all these human traits and start identifying with the divine traits we have. That's why we are creators. It's divine creation means that we create out of the likeness of divinity, maximum beauty, maximum health, maximum appreciation, maximum love, maximum perfection. And it's us. It's only us. 
it's only me. In my world, it's me. My, <clears throat> sorry, my opinion, my convictions, what I want to see, what I can see, what I can imagine. And it's so, so strong when I come into my divine design, I really feel strongly, strongly that I'm here to heal and heal to make whole, to make everything whole. And that doesn't mean I make it whole because I do th something, but I transform it because I can see the whole version, the best, perfect healthy, rich, abundant, successful version of another person because I can see it for me. Because I'm connected to my divine design, to my divinity. And I know and I understand that it means I'm a healer because I am convinced that we all, we all have this feeling we want to heal the world. We want to do good. We want to have this paradise world. We want to have this perfect abundance of possibility and health and happiness and beauty. And why, why can't we see it? That something has to be done that we can see it, that we can create this world. And number one, that has to be done. We have to really, let go of our divine design, find our, uh, let go of our human design to find our divine design and be deeply, deeply connected to we, who we really are as creators out of us, through us. There's nothing that exists apart of us. If I don't create, through what I see, what I imagine, what I feel, what I express, it's not there. It does not exist. So my divine design is being totally aware of me as a creator, being totally aware that I create everything with my imagination and I may connect more and more to imagine all the beauty, all the wealth, all the health, all the abundance everywhere, in every flower, in every person, in every animal, in every business, in every relationship, in everywhere. And my divine design wants this. And there's nothing, nothing not perfect about my design. My design is divine, it's perfect. My human design tells me my weaknesses, my strengths about what is not good and na na na. But this is totally, an, it's different perspective. And when I shift the perspective and I download all my divine ideas and everything I want to create on this earth for me, for others, I'm totally connected to my divine design. And I don't need to look and my human design, because my divine design tells me I'm the creator. I decide, I say how it is. I say what's possible. I say, I have the say because I'm divine <laughs> and we are, but we're just not aware. And once we come into this awareness of our divine design, there's so much, much power, there's so much strength because we see like every person we look at transforms to our expectation, to our assumption. Everything what we want, what we desire, it, it conforms. Everything, the whole world conforms to us. So it's really, really important that we allow ourselves to step into our divinity to download our own divine design and then express it. Express it in whatever we do in our relationships, in our lifestyle, in our businesses. But express ourselves out of our divine design. And for my opinion, and this is how I work, this is what I believe, we don't have to tweak or whatever, use the human design 
to become better, become whole, because our nature, our divine design already knows that we are whole, that we are perfect, that we don't lack anything, that there's nothing wrong about us. And we just have to step deeper and deeper and just feel it like so deeply. And that makes makes everything different, makes life easy, takes fear away, fear of disease, fear of impossibilities, fear of um, lack of freedom, fear of whatever you fear of. If you have this divine design really, really deeply inside of you and know what it's all about and put on your goddess glasses, your divine glasses, and you see the divinity you can create out of your heart, that's it. So I hope um, I made this understandable. I hope it's not too long. Um, I'm very, very new of explaining, expressing myself in English, but I just wanted to, to just have this post to, to interact with you and just put this point of view, the divine point of view onto you because a lot of times, and also this was me, I was, I was looking to, to improve, improve, improve. But when I found out I'm already good and I just have to let go all the ideas and thoughts about myself, which tell me that I'm not good enough. It was just a total new world. Everything lifted. Life became lighter. All my, my, um, my pain, my, my, my illnesses, everything went away and I became happy. I became trustful. I became steady. And um, this is where I'm going. I, I really want to bring this to the world that this, it's nothing new. I'm just telling you what your heart already knows about you. And that's it. You already know it. It's there because that's who we are. If you have more questions, please, um, I upload this video uh, on my German YouTube channel. So there's not a lot of English videos there, but you can connect and uh, feel free to comment. Um, I have my website wherever. I really want to, to promote anything. I don't want to sell anything because my main... Uh, my business is in German for now, and I have I have nothing in English. <laughs> I have nothing to sell you apart from my point of views, which are just really given in love and divine appreciation of all of you and for your interest. Thank you so much. Bye.